In the past, I've touched upon the advanced trading options, but in this video, I'll aim to correct some of my earlier assertions and walk you through how these options work. Firstly, let's buy some DCR with our Litecoin. I've gone ahead of time and unlocked the advanced options. Toggle open the link to see all three. Precise funds. In this case, placing my order requires an overlock of 0.086 LTC on top of my 0.38 LTC bid. By activating this option, the overlock will be reduced, but for several reasons, it's best not to select this option. How precise funds work is related to UTXO's unspent transaction outputs. Balances on UTXO based blockchains, such as Decred, Litecoin and Bitcoin, are the result of summing up all the UTXOs. And it's also worth knowing that each UTXO is an arbitrary amount. For instance, whenever you spend coins on chain, you're really spending some combination of those UTXOs and creating a change output or a new UTXO with the difference, less the transaction fee. An example of this, if the price of something is £15 and to make that payment you pay with two £10 notes, the change of a £5 note is your new UTXO. When you make a trade with an atomic swap, you're spending coins or UTXOs to a smart contract and locking the entire value of those outputs until the trade completes. Imagine you only have a large UTXO. In this instance, the entire amount is locked until the swap completes. After this, the change comes back. The precise funds option in reality creates two transactions behind the scenes. The first transaction spends the large UTXO, splitting it into two outputs. The first is an output UTXO with the exact amount needed for the trade. And the second UTXO is the change of whatever is left over. The second transaction then spends the output with the exact amount required for the atomic swap contract. Since the first is a regular transaction, you immediately have the change available to spend. The big downside of using the precise funds option is that you have to pay more on chain transaction fees because it's two transactions instead of one. That's why you should generally not check this box unless you really and truly need to spend the change before the swap completes. Bar swaps. For this option, we need to remember that atomic swaps have two parts to the settlement process, the initial swap and the redemption. The fast swap option deals with the initial swap, in this case buying DCR which requires LTC fees. The default amount of LTC is one Latoshi per virtual byte or the smallest unit. In times of congestion, you might need to increase the amount to two Latoshis per byte. Recently on the Litecoin blockchain, I had a transaction that got stuck for over two hours. By moving this fee up on a consecutive trade, the transaction completed with no delays. Fast redemption. The same issue is true for the redemption part of the atomic swap. Raising the fee is useful during times of congestion. In this case, there is no need to raise the rate because the DCR blockchain is not congested. But we'll need to look at this in the next trade when we buy some Litecoin. With fast swap activated, we'll settle the order. On the Litecoin chain, this increase in fees is still only a fraction of a penny. This time we'll sell some DCR to buy some Litecoin. You'll notice the fast swap is priced in DCR and the fast redemption is priced in LTC. We'll leave the fast swap as is, but increase the fast redemption. Deciding on whether you need to use the fast swap and fast redemption will depend on if the blockchains you are using are congested or not. To find out this information, consult the relevant block explorers. Let's have a look at the price for a 2 Latoshi per byte swap and redemption. This transaction is a swap which needed LTC and cost 306 Latoshis. The second transaction is the redemption also in LTC and cost 286 Latoshis. If we copy and paste this amount into a conversion calculator, you'll see the price is a fraction of a penny. To contrast this, let's have a look at how much this would have cost at one Latoshi per byte. First, the swap transaction, which cost 153 Latoshis, and the redemption transaction, which cost 143 Latoshis. Once again, let's copy and paste the amount into a conversion calculator. To see the price is a fraction of a penny. 
Hopefully that explained how to use advanced trading options and will make your DCR DEX trading experience even smoother.